Yo, hello everyone. Are you looking to extend the capabilities of Elementor, the popular WordPress page builder? In this video, I will introduce you to the best 5 free Elementor plugins that you must have in 2023. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So guys, here I am in my WordPress website. Here, if I went to the section of plugins, you might notice that I have several plugins about Elementor that each one of you has to get. The last one is also a plugin that I'm going to talk about later on. First of all, when you get your Elementor, it's going to be like simply a drag and drop plugin. So it's going to be like so, go to a page or pages, and you won't have really that good of things that like will help you do more detailed designs than Elementor alone would give you. In the other side, if you install these top 5 plugins that I'm going to show you now, you are actually going to push your designing skills and capabilities much more further. And of course, the settings or the menu that Elementor will offer you will be much larger and will give you more options to, de to be detailed. So let's start with the first Elementor plugin. Now, right after that, before you install any kind of these plugins, make sure that you have Elementor on your website, as you can see over here. Now, as you might notice, there is here five different plugins. So one, two, three, four, and five. All of these plugins are actually kind of similar in a way and different in another. For example, here we have Elementor Custom Scan. This Elementor Custom Scan is made for specifically for post and archive post you can create a skin as you want so for example a skin in here is made as template so this will help you create a template for your post and archive post for your upcoming like articles that you are going to do in the future they will be in that form so you're just going to, to create a page so for example here i'm going to a post and in here i'm going to create a new post here instead of like doing the details, here the title, hit X, here I'm going to add an image for example, etc, etc, etc. You don't really have to go through all of this again and again. Here, Elementor Scans will give you literally everything. As you can see here, it is already in here. So it gives you the essential scales. And here, as you can see, Elementor Custom Scan will need Elementor and Elementor Pro to work. Make sure you have them both installed so this is really important to have so elementor is completely free but the elementor pro unfortunately is not free so in case you didn't have elementor pro you will not be able to get the maximum benefits of elementor custom scans so instead of that i will show you the second plugin that will kind of sub this plugin which is elementor custom skin which is elementor kit light this is the most advanced add-ons for a mentor with tons of widget, header builder, footer builder, mega menu builder, and even gallery, WooCommerce, and many more. What it does specifically, it will help you do the same thing that Ely Custom Skin will do, but instead of that, it has much more options. It is free, but at the same time, you can go more further than that and get the pro version in it. So if I went to the settings here, you might notice that it will allow 3K ready template put with Elementor and SSS add-on from, temp from Templately. It is completely for free for you. And if you'd like to go more further than 3K, you can upgrade it to the Pro version. These elements are going to be something like that. There is a bunch of options that it can add to you. So these are like all the things that you might have as content elements from creative button, team member, testimonial, flip box, info box, and much more. There is other extensions that you can add, but there is some of them that are locked as you can see here. So in case you'd like to unlock them, you have to go pro. But overall, it is a pretty nice, decent custom plugin that you can add with Elementor to help it boost the performance of it. Here it is all the kind of categories or integration that you can add from census blocks, better links, QDO plus, and better docs, embed press, review X, or notification X. All of these you can install them through this plugin and they will help you a lot boosting your elementary experience. Now let's head up to our third plugin. Here we go. And the fourth plugin, it is named by 
essential add-ons for Elementor. So this plugin is simply a plugin that you can install after Elementor, packed with 40 plus stunning free elements including advanced data table, event calendar, filter table, and gallery, WooCommerce, and many more. So this is pretty good to have with besides like the element skate light so imagine these two with elementor and having Ele elementor custom scan will boost you like incredibly insane so if i click here on the settings this is how it starts off and this is all the kind of things that it can give you and as i said you still can go pro on both and uh, uh, plugins and you will have like better experience but of course you can still keep up with the like the free version and you will have like pretty decent experience even though so this is all the things that you have from widget modules user settings everything here is specified for you to help you increase your elementary experience and last but not last plugin which is the elementary header and footer builder this elementary header and footer builder is as the name says will open to you big and make a like, huge difference in your designing capabilities of the header and the footer it will open to you all kind of custom headers and footers with elementor and will display them on selected location that you'd like you can also create custom elementor on the website with a short code so this is a pretty good like uh, plugin to have if you went to the settings there is nothing much here to do you can create here add new to create like a template for you so you can choose here and build them for myself next and etc etc and here we can type the template header and display on where do you want to post it user roles to see it and once you're done with it click here to edit it with elementor and just like that you will be able to create somehow a template that you can use as your header as your before footer footer or as a custom block which is good as well and now the final plugin which is WooCommerce yep guys I'm talking seriously now WooCommerce is actually a plugin that will boost your experience with Elementor since you don't know if you want to Elementor so let's go for example to a page and let me just click on this one and here I'm going to edit with Elementor basically guys if you don't know Elementor have actually the ability to actually be able to design pages of WooCommerce the only downside is you do have to get the pro version of Elementor because they will be locked and so guys I highly recommend you to get the Elementor pro version and for that it will help you like merge all of these kind of different plugins that I have showed you in this video since look in Elementor you can build a page with WooCommerce you can build a store merging these two you can edit and maximize the look of your store and make it much more beautiful if you added the header footer builder it will save you time because you can create with that some kind of a template that you can use it whenever you'd like the same goes for element kit and light and essentials add-ons for elementor these two will add some templates that are, have already been created by other elementor users and for the elementor custom scan it will help you make some kind of scan for posts and archive posts which will save a lot of time while you're creating posts for your website in the future so yeah guys these are the top five elementor plugins that you have to know about thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial